Tobago's history on display at Scarborough Library, marriage acts consultation to be held on the island, and Codla Hall residents wants closer links with police. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Tobago is currently celebrating the island's heritage, but it's not only happening in the island's communities. Kunda Freitas has the story. For the past two weeks, Tobago has been celebrating its heritage with traditional events in communities across the island. But at the Scarborough Library facility, there's a little twist to our journey through the past. The Tobago Folk Museum is now open to the public and the museum's head coordinator, Sherwin Cunningham, says the exhibit will give locals and visitors a close-up look at how our ancestors lived and the foods they used to eat. We have foreign making, we have the sweets and treats like ice cream, homemade ice cream as we used to do it and stuff like that. In the library we have the artifacts. You know now everybody has a cell phone, every little child. Back then we had two tin cup and a string long <laughs> miles, you know, <laughs> and we used to talk, communicate and stuff like that. Mr. Cunningham says this was done to recreate the old time days so that our younger generation can learn about their history and appreciate their heritage. Primary school principal Steve Small says initiatives like the Folk Museum are invaluable to Tobago's culture. It's a, a, a mode of cultural transmission where, you know, the, the young, can, you know, get those traditional beliefs, culture of Tobagonians. Um, you know, if we don't have these sort of artifacts and so on, you realize that the culture will go. Mr. Small believes this exhibit will help preserve the island's culture and will demonstrate how far Tobago has come. I'm Kundi Freitas for Info Update. The marriage acts are under review and Tobago will be part of consultations. Omodara Mills has the details. The minimum age of marriage in Trinidad and Tobago is 12 years for girls and 14 for boys. But the marriage acts of Trinidad and Tobago are now being reviewed to determine the best suitable age for marriage with the aim of protecting the nation's children. The process includes public consultations hosted by the Ministry of the Attorney General and Legal Affairs across the country. This Friday, Tobagonians will have a chance to lend their voices to discussions on the issue at a public consultation from 10 a.m. at the Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort. Tobagonians are being asked to come out and have their say on this very important issue. I'm Omodara Mills for Info Update. Codler Hall residents wants a closer relationship with the police. Carolyn Wallace has more. Closer connection with Calder Hall residents and the police will make community policing more effective. That's the view of resident Sean Stewart, who says that although the police are doing their best to protect and serve Tobago, there is a breakdown in harmony between officers and the community. He wants this to change. With regards to community, community policing, I don't think it's 100% working. I think that it's too disconnected. I think the police officer needs to be a bit more in touch with the people of the community to really call it community policing. He is now calling on the senior officers to address this issue. Acting Inspector Turner responded to Mr. Stewart's complaint. We have station council once a month and we try to meet with as much people, as much people from the community as possible. And now that you're interested, I'm glad that I have you on board. Mr. Turner says exchanging contacts will allow the police to relate more effectively with the community and keep the people informed with what they are doing. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josanne Brassi and you've been listening to Info Update. <laughs>